In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to improve the realism of um, your 3D visualizations in CD Engine by adding statically modeled signature buildings. So I won't go into how to create these models because luckily there's lots of people that have created many of those signature buildings that you can find out on the internet. So I'll just be using a library to find some buildings and then add them into my city engine. So um, first of all, let's switch to city engine um, and a candidate for such a signature building would be this one, which is Superbjorken, um, which is a known Copenhagen building. So first of all, I want to get rid of this model. And there's also a model there. Um, so, nah, did I get... Um, basically, uh, the easiest is to clear out its modeling set. Doesn't matter because normally you will never have your footprints on your map, but only your models. So um, it um, when you are creating your final, you just get rid of the shapes. So you have the models and not your um, your footprints there. So um, we have our this building that we would like to replace with a static model. So luckily, there's lots and lots of people that have used time in um, in creating models of buildings. So one of the places to go to look is this 3D warehouse. So this is um, SketchUp models, um, typically in KMZ format, is often the best to get hold of. So if you do a search, I search for Copenhagen, I can see that um, there are OK models and there are more sketchy models. Um, and if I just scan down through the list of Copenhagen models. Ah, I find this one. Okay, so thanks to Moans for creating this nice model. I will um, has a download. I can choose different formats. Um, I click on this is the best. Click on the model, and then you can choose different download formats. I should say you should you have to be logged in. Um, just create a um, login with your Google account. They won't spam you or anything. So um, there's different formats with the SketchUp. Um, I prefer to get a Kim set file if I can, because that's what then, then it will also have its coordinates in it. That is an advantage when you place your data in um, City Engine. So download it and um, just save it. So it's um, downloaded, and um, once it's downloaded, we can uh, open it, and we'll find it here. And um, basically, oops, what I now want to do is I want to drag it into a my library, so my project here, and I'll drag it in as an asset. So Simply take my Super Young. At this point, I'll take the original one. Up. Oh, get rid of that thing. And um, drag it into my assets. Copy the file so it's there. Now I have it in my assets. I can then dra drag it onto my scene. And um, there I've got it. So this um, immediately adds quite a lot of uh, of realism. Where did I go over there? Um, there. Um, so I super really young. Get rid of the selection, and um, I guess that's it. That's um, relatively simple, short process that um, 
you can use. So key is to I at least find that this 3D warehouse, this Google 3D warehouse, log in with, I use my Google account, um, do a search, find um, a building that functions as a signature building for your project. Preferably um, when you download it, do use the little drop down arrow and then choose the chem set file so that you can uh, have your location data in and drag it first into your project and your workspace and then from the workspace onto your scene and that's it so hope you um, like my little short video and hope it was useful so and hope to see you in another video bye